So you want to install Boot Camp on your Mac and you've got a 4,1 to 7,1 Mac Pro. Today's episode, we will be showing you how to install Windows 10. Welcome to part two of the Boot Camp series, mini series in the fourth season of the Mac Pro series. Let's get to it. Anyway, guys, I'm Greg Rackhead, Rackhead Mods, and welcome to episode seven of season four of my Mac Pro series. Today, we will be showing you how to install Windows 10 on your 4.1 to 7.1 Mac Pro. Let's get to it. And welcome back. So, we are now installing Windows 10 onto our 6.1. It is automatically booting up as uh, we uh, did in the last episode. We'll hit next here. I uh, hit do not have product key unless you do have a product key. Now, for a Mac Pro, any Mac Pro, I always recommend running Professional Edition because it has multi-CPU support, especially with a 4.1, 5.1. If you have two CPUs, you have to run Professional or you're only going to only have one CPU that works. Uh, with the 6.1, 7.1, you could do home, but I prefer professional. You can get keys really cheap, so that's what we're going to go with. Now, as this is doing this, for the 4.1, 5.1, uh, you could start it up and go into the boot menu, find the disk, and uh, start it from that. Uh, but this, uh, on the 6.1, 7.1, does it automatically. And what we want to do is use this, uh, this drive right here, and um, for this 4,1, 5,1, it automatically, uh, it, it, it needed to be formatted in FAT, so it will, uh, you'll have to convert it by hitting Format. On the 6,1, 7,1, it looks like it's already made it in NTFS, but uh, I still might want to format it myself, so uh, let's format it just uh, to be on the safe side here and make sure you format the right drive, otherwise you lose everything. We hit next, and we let it install. Once it's installed, we'll come back. Okay, it's restarting now. Now, the boot menu that is showing up is uh, open core. You're not going to have this on the 7 comma 1. Um, I have open core already on this 6 comma 1. Um, it would just boot straight up into Windows on the 7 comma 1, uh, but this is what it would show on the 4 comma 1 through 6 comma 1 if you have open core already on them. Otherwise, it's going to boot straight into Windows, unless you're on the 4 comma 1, 5 comma 1. In that case, it uh, you'll have to go into the boot menu and probably choose Windows once again, unless open core is already set to boot straight into it. All right, it's restarting again, and there we are. We're in Windows 10. Windows 10 booted into, uh, installed and booted in about five minutes on the 6.1. That is impressive. So we'll go through all the settings here. I don't have internet. Continue with limited setup. I don't like any of this stuff here. Accept. Not now. And there we go. Now, when it boots in, we need to install the boot camp drivers. And um, if we just follow it like we did in the last episode, if you watched, sat through the 4, 1, 5, 1 stuff, only it will automatically do it on the 6, 1, 7, 1. This section, though, if you're on the 4, 1, 5, 1, you might want to go back to the video up here and follow that tutorial on how to get your boot camp to set up. But once that is done, everything is basically done, and we'll come back once boot camp is installed to make sure everything works. Okay, we have boot camp installed. We hit finish. It will ask if you want to restart. We restart it. And there we go. It is still loading up stuff, I guess. I'm not really sure. 
Yep, there it goes. Cool. Everything seems to be working. We have our catalyst drivers installed. We'll go to about boot camp. There's boot camp six. And open up the control panel. That could be a problem. <laughs> okay, so if your control panel will not pop up, restart the system, it will work fine. And it's nice to have the control panel just in case you want to uh, control specific um, Mac parts. So it works. Everything's working fine now. I just had to restart the thing. So that's, that's awesome. So anyway, now let's skip on to the next episode where we install Windows 11. Um, but yeah, this was successful. That's the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And this has been a Rutkay Mods video.